everyone, it's me, X Convences, and today, let's go on a doll hunt. Doll moment. She's pretty. And that is Annika again. I literally got you last week. Why are you here? <sighs> oh, ah, I'll pick her up in a second. Snow White. The reason, I think I actually have that on CD already. I'm not a perfect, oh, she's cute. Hello, darling. Look at her. Ooh, and the Trolls Barbie shirt is kind of amazing. Um, I'm sure I'm putting her down there because I'm getting her. Um, it's the good Disney Swirl size. So many good Disney Swirls though. Oh, she's stained, but I do need a good Cinderella for Disney store specifically. Well, I have a good one, but her dress is jacked up. So I need a good dress. Is that a fan? Ooh. Yeah. Pick that up. There's a fantasy friend here. Cute, but he's missing a lot of stuff, I think. Um, and then if we go down. Shop Disney Aurora. I don't have this one, so yay. Oh. And a Disney store Pocahontas, who I do already. Oh no, that's a. I don't know. I already have that one. Huh? For some reason, at this point, I just stopped speaking, so I cut out a lot of awkwardness. But here is a Dream Seekers doll that I found. Pretty cool. And then, good thing I checked the plushie section pretty closely. I've been doing it a lot now because there's a lot of plushies that are like holy grails for me because look up there. The grooviest girls you ever did see up there. I'm not actually sure what I'm looking at there. Oh, that Ariel perplexed me because um, <laughs> I really want those um, Ariel and her sister's dolls from the 2000s from the Disney store that are amazing. And that tail kind of reminded me of it, but false alarm, not her, but it's fine. Um, groovy girls. Ruby girls. There's two bags. I'm having trouble because I'm holding a bunch of stuff and only have two hands, unfortunately, regrettably. It was an incredibly pretty person buying dolls near me, but they were like the porcelain and like baby dolls, but I was very intimidated by her, so I was not speaking, but like, and she was with her family, but I should have said hi because she seemed like she was also a doll collector and they were like staring at me when I was picking up all the groovy girl stuff. Hopefully they weren't interested in the groovy girl stuff. Right, I just thought about that. for Rainbow High merchandise. Rainbow High merch. Let's see what we can find. Ooh. Well, you're coming home with me. Hello. Cool. I want her. Okay. Good find so far. LOLs are tempting. This is so cute. Oh my god. That is so precious. Okay, we're looking for Rainbow High. Anything. Or just anything else that's interesting. Ooh. Rainbow High Watch! Brett! Minecraft goggles sounds amazing. Yeah. Look! It's got creepers. Wait, those are really cool. Oh, that goes hard. Yeah, it has different... You can change the straps? Yeah. I have a Rainbow High Watch, but it's not nearly this nice. It's got gunpowder and TNT on it. We haven't been here in a long time, actually, so hopefully there's some cool new stuff. Look. What are you doing down here? <laughs> big palace pet and cute Zuru ponies, but there's no price on it. But they, they give me a price usually, right? And then there's some G4 in here. Oh, I saw this one last time, actually, I think. Um, G4 and bootlegs, so I'm gonna... Why do they put the bikes in front of the dolls? Like, it's specifically to spite me, isn't it? <laughs> right. Oh, that's a color reveal. She's interesting. Who is she? Oh, hello. If she has eyelashes, I get her because that tends to be a good sign. Who are you? Oh, I can't see her face. Um, I got Aurora. She has a really pretty dress on, but I don't collect the specific era unless I really like them. Violet? Is that her name? Am I dumb? She's in an Anna Hasbro dress. We've got a skipper. Oh, more doll wigs. What is going on? Where are the dolls that the wigs go to? 
Who is that? I don't know what that is. Um, back to here. There's a Hasbro on in the coronation dress. El Celsa. Look at this. She has a unique outfit on. I don't need a. Is that a G1 or a repro G1? That's a repro. Cute though. Um, what else is in here? Oh, put these out of my way. There's so many dolls I can't. Okay. Not as many dolls as usual though, huh? They're just more spread out than usual. This is an actual, like, um, she's wearing an outfit, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not super interested in getting these. Who are you? You just. Oh, that's um, like a baby alive. We had those at Ollie's when I went there. And then a Reboot Laguna, but with no skirt. She's wearing a Scaris Frankie's dress, I think. Probably wrong. Okay. Well, we found some things. <laughs> Got blue sky and a bunch of random eight. Oh, that's an interesting doll. I've never seen that one before in my life, I don't think. A lot of like our generation stuff. Some Disney, as usual. I always check though, just in case. What was that called? I remember those. Oh. <gasps> no way. What great timing. <gasps> I just bought a ton of Fashion Fever stuff on eBay. <gasps> this is so cool. Look. The Fashion Fever playset in box. Cool. Here, can you hold this one? I, could, I can't believe I, I missed that the first time I walked by. Cool. That's the stuff I've been buying and that guy scammed me for. Is it this display cabinet? It's like the ones we have. But it's really Oh, is it nice? And do it has pre-installed lights. Ooh, I'll, do, I'll go check it out in a second. There's more dolls on the wall that I missed because they moved them. Get this. Kind of nice. Kind of ridiculously low, but maybe I'm just gonna, I kind of sounds too low. There's a lot of dolls that are like not in their places this time. It's just a random Millie. Um, there's random Chelsea. Someone critiqued my use of the word Kelly. <laughs> for Chelsea's, so. Because they changed, when I was a kid, they were called Kelly's and now they're called Chelsea's for some reason. Ooh. Doll dress forms are always good. That's $3. Yeah, Chelsea's the new one. you just said Kelsey. Oh no, Kelly. Sorry, I might have tongue tied. It's Kelly and Chelsea. All right, let's go look at that display case. What you got? What that? Should I get him? He's ten dollars, which is kind of a lot. So or what is it? Just a goose bust? It's a weight. It's a paperweight. <laughs> you broke that priceless potato bowl. I don't want this. Get it. I think it's crazy. Put it in the den. Look, the crystal castle, and this is the furniture for it. I don't know if it's all of it, but it's a lot of it. And then Swift Wind, and this other place that I forgot the name of. Dude, I'm so tempted, but not for 130. And I don't have a lot of Shira dolls to inhabit. That's so cool though. The store that we're currently filming in is called Second and Charles and it's basically a half price books and I didn't notice this right here but look there's a butterfly art Ken and some other holiday Barbies um or not holiday but collector Barbies and then I I immediately I'm like oh because like, she was like up there just for me that was destined for me uh and for $12.95 yeah and I've been looking for Odette recently too and this one like I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it. And I find more too. Um, so basically, if you have any kind of resale book type stores, it's worth checking them out. And obviously like reading is dope and you should check that out anyway for that reason. But <laughs> Sorry, Brett just sneezed. <laughs> so I'm laughing <laughs> for some reason. Um, it scared Ronaldo. Anyway, um, reading is dope and half price books is like really cool. But also you might find dolls. For some reason they stock dolls. I kind of talk about it later in the video, but Pretty cool. And Sun Colors Pocahontas. Yes, please. Wish her box wasn't so shredded because um, some of those older... This one was expensive. It's weird. They priced the Holiday Barbies quite high when Holiday Barbies are definitely worth a lot less than like Odette. I don't know. Um, and then down here we find Butterfly Art Ken. I would have gotten him, but I don't know. Like I have Butterfly Art, Bar Butterfly Art Barbie in box, but I don't know. I just I'm not super interested in him. That doll was super tempting, but why was she the price that she was? I don't know. But she was really, really beautiful. Um, I was so tempted, but I put her back. It's okay. Sometimes we say no and don't buy things. And then <laughs> here, I don't know why this is in portrait, but we are looking at some Winx books. You can see my stack of shame. And I have this one already. And that one was shredded. 
Um, I think mine is also shredded. And then a witch book. I always check for witch and winks, and I, it's usually only witch, but I'm going to start picking them up from now on. But this is a pretty cool store. I will be back. Oh, this thrifting happened today and Saturday. The Saturday thrifting was actually just on the way home from record store day. We went into town to see if we could find some stuff for Brett, and he did find the record he was looking for. Yay. Um, and we went to one thrift store. And this happened. <laughs> Um, I guess this too I can show you. I went to Burlington um, and I found this LOL surprise furniture, which I'm really excited about. I'm still not sure if I want to full on collect the tots, but the furniture works really well for little pet shops, which I do collect. Um, and this tot has an OMG, so they'll display it together really well. And I really like the tots. I just don't want to open up Pandora's box into my life. So occasionally when I find them at thrift stores, they can come home. Um, this is why I went to Burlington, Rainbow High Watch with interchangeable bands. I actually have a Rainbow High Watch, but it is not, um, it's nothing compared to this one. This one's awesome. So I want to show you this stuff real quick because it's not actually from a thrift hunt, but I guess I'll put the footage into the video. Um, and then this Barbie Extra Mini. I really like the Barbie Extra Minis. They are a bit expensive. Like, I really like them, but at their price point, it's a bit questionable. So I was waiting for them to go on clearance and this one was $10. Uh, they retail for around 16, I think. 10 feels more fair. Like 10 feels like what they should have retailed for. Um, but they're really, really cute. I really like these. And I think the outfits are actually pretty well done, which is funny because sometimes the larger Barbie dolls outfits are not made out of textile fabrics while smaller ones are. Like I would forgive mini dolls not using textile fabrics, but whatever. It's Mattel. Who knows? Anyway, okay. Now the things I got at the thrift store. So the thrift stores in our area, we don't have savers. We do have Goodwill, but they don't really have dolls. Um, I don't, I personally do not go to Salvation Army. Um, just, I don't want to have anything to do with that. So, um, the thrift store that I have found that is pretty consistent with dolls is called America's Thrift Store. So if you live in an area that happens to have that, I would check that out. It's a chain. It's relatively uncommon, at least in Alabama where I live. I found quite a few of them. I just moved here, so I'm not 100% like an expert on what the good thrifting spots are. Um, but I found quite a bit of good stuff and I'm very happy about it. So I only went to the one in Birmingham and then I went to the one back at my home today and found a bunch of really cool stuff that I'll share with you. So first, let's see the stuff from the big city. If it even counts as a big city. Um, this is pretty exciting actually. So right before I moved, one of you, I, I, I can never remember if I can say people's names. So I, and I remember the names, a lot of them from the, from the PO box videos, but I want to make sure I don't accidentally say someone's name who doesn't want their name to be said. So I just say someone sent it, but it's not because I forgot you. It's just because I'm trying to err on the side of caution. Okay. Like, I just want to make that clear. So somebody sent me their groovy girls collection from their childhood. And I had never really seen Groovy Girls very often at the thrift stores. If I had, it wasn't something that was still like fresh in my memory. Um, so I was really surprised when I went to the thrift store and found a bunch of Groovy Girls stuff. And I had said in that video that I specifically really like the Groovy Girls furniture. Like that's what I remember the most vividly from my childhood. And well, would you look at this? What I found, this is a Groovy Girls vanity and thank goodness the chair is attached via a string so that you don't lose it. Um, this was $4 and it is glorious. It is pretty dirty, uh, and I don't really know how to clean it because it has all of these interesting parts. It's not like you can just throw it in the washing machine, and I wouldn't do that anyway. Would you just take, like, OxyClean and a toothbrush? If anyone has experience with this sort of product, can you please help me and let me know? Um, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, it's also, like, it must have gotten wet at some point because this part is stained darker, as you can see. I don't mind that. The main concern is just making it not disgusting because this is probably just water damage, which I'm not too worried about, but I really, I want to make it like sanitary. <laughs> uh, but fabric stuff, I am, um, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with fabric. I barely even know how to wash my own clothes. So if something gets ruined in the washing machine, that's fine. I don't want it if it gets ruined in the washing machine. I just want clothes that I can put on my body and wear so that I don't get arrested. Anyway, um, Groovy Girls chair. Um, now I can have like a little lounge for my Groovy Girls. It's pretty cute. And this is going to make them so much easier to display. And the best part, American Girl dolls are such a strange part of my collection compared to everything else. Like they do not fit in. Groovy Girls, I feel somewhere in my brain, fit in with the American Girl dolls. So I'm going to display them near each other. Um, I'm thinking to display them outside of the doll room in the hallway because they are 
larger so the cats can't like bat them away or anything so I think I want to display them in the hallway between my two doll rooms and my cats aren't going to be allowed on this part side of the house anyway it actually completely closes off so the formal living room and the doll rooms are their own separate part it's pretty cool uh, so the cats have the master bedroom the kitchen and the den um, so this whole side of the house is basically mine, but I want to, I want, I, I don't want a formal living room necessarily, but I guess it would be an adult thing to have. If, if I feel like it, I can totally convert that into a doll room. I feel like Brett would not really mind, but we're going to have a formal living room. We're going to, we're going to have a formal living room. Maybe I'll build a dollhouse in it. Maybe. I don't know. Ow. <laughs> anyway, now for the groovy girls. These bags were $3.99. Well, this one was $3.99. The other ones might be different. Um, I think there were three bags. Maybe there was just two. So I don't know the Groovy Girls names. I just, when I was a kid, my friend had them and I thought they were really cool. And they have some really funny stuff like a plush car. I'm pretty sure they had a plush car. Um, and their clothes are really nice and they all actually have clothes in this lot. At least one piece of clothing each, which is really awesome. Um, and they're just so cute. Like they're really, really cute. Um, they're one of those like, wholesome dolls that come out every now and then where it's like where it's like for the parents that are like Barbie's going to ruin my child which I'm not on board with that um that opinion obviously I mean it's totally fine if you want to give your kids a different toy but if it's because of like oh Barbie's a Barbie's the devil and going to ruin your child then like I'm I'm not on board with that but I think these have a really nice place in society and existence like I think they fill a niche that needs to be filled and they're really cool um and honestly I like to see dolls that um, fill different niches but honestly my favorite part of these being like the modest and I don't know if they were like marketed that way but I know that's how the the kids who had them that's how their parents kind of came to pick them out my favorite part is that this doll is wearing a super short skirt fishnets and what looks like it's supposed to fit like a crop top how is this any different than any of the dolls that the that the wasp moms dislike I don't know um okay here's this character who has um either purple hair hair ties or just purple streaks really cute um girls rock guitar lessons and we've got zebra clogs possibly um and spades on our leggings interesting choices I like it <laughs> and then we have okay so there was one more bag um this was also $3.99 and we have two more characters we have oh this dress is foul yeah so these outfits are like absolutely hysterical to me <laughs> Not like, ew, why would you ever dress a doll like this? But like, they are so of their time in an obnoxious way. And I love it because I grew up during this time. Um, my favorite part about this sort of, sort of stuff is this is exactly what a child would, if you gave a child like unlimited reign to doll clothing, this is the type of outfit that a child would put together. And they would be totally down with this. So I feel like these dolls were really well um, workshopped. Also, is this a Groovy Girl's hair clip or not? Because this is really cute. It was just sitting in her hair. Um... Oh, she has a headband sewn in too, but anyway, really cute. I love the claws. <laughs> Are they meant to be like slippers? I don't know. Um, and then here's this character, which I think is that same character again, because she has purple in her hair again, but it's hard to say. Now, she, this character, if she's not the same character, still has a very interesting... Um, choice on leggings we've got what I think are dragonfly leggings with leopard um are they meant to be like toms or are they really like clogs I don't know um anyway these dolls are adorable they're nostalgic to me uh my friend had them I had this friend that had the coolest Megan you will never watch this because you're like a, a cool adult now but you had the coolest toys and I was always jealous of you, and I loved hanging out with you. You were really fun, and I miss your horse. Your horse was really cool, too. His name was Boudreaux. I remember that. And I know how to spell it to this day. Boudreaux. I don't even know what that means. Anyway, um, on a similar note, I actually found this. Dream Seekers? Oh my god, what are these dolls called? Dream Seekers, right? I found this Dream Seekers doll. This was $3, and that was a good enough... Oh, wait, these have nylon? Okay, um, this is a Dream Seekers doll, and I've been on the fence about these. I think they're exceptionally cute, but they're not posable, and Nana Nana dolls are just posable enough to be passable for me, and these are mostly meant to sit on your shelf, um, and I just really like what dolls are posable, but 
for three dollars i absolutely cannot say no i also did not realize that they're fairies for some reason also i saw one the other day that i've never seen before um on this day actually when i was at walmart and i was like oh my god it was like a moon themed one she was really cute i'll insert a picture if i can find it so yeah i will have to start looking out for that one because these are clearancing out everywhere but i will say i have some no 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 dolls here my biggest grievance with the Nana Na Surprise Dolls is actually their faces. I feel like there's something mildly uncanny about the flatness of the face versus the um, dimensionality of the face paint because they've tried to contour it in a way that works looks 3D, but they're really not 3D very much at all. Anyway, I feel like the Dream Seekers Dolls don't do that. Like, I think their faces look a lot... Um, I'll have to ask Brett because Brett has the same opinion as me because I could never place what it was about the na 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 faces that was kind of bothering me and Brett got it like nailed right on the head. Um, also she has little shoes. Are these even hers? Like I don't even know. Um, they're really cute. I guess they're hers because they have little cats on them. Anyway, she might not keep these shoes because I think they look really strange on her proportions. Like doesn't it look like a different doll shoes were put on her um they're really cute though and like look how cute her little skirt is and stuff these are super cute if they were posable i'd be all over them posable at all oh but they sit really well at least i need to fix her hair but she's really cute and she was three dollars and then she has some friends she's got this um beanie boos marcel from probably mcdonald's oh a little manatee Brett's gonna love this one. I didn't even look at the other things in the bag. I just grabbed her. Um, and then a Tigger Tsum Tsum, which I actually have a friend who will want this. You know who you are. Text me <laughs> if you do want this, if you don't already have that one. All right, next we have... Oh, so there were some cool Disney store dolls there. I'm sure y'all saw them. Um, I picked up the only the ones that I actually... It was so funny. I got to the counter with these and the cashier was like, oh, you picked out all the dolls. I just put those out. Like, And I was like, yes. Oh my gosh. How often do you get them? Like, We had a chat about them and she was so sweet. She was such a nice lady. Um, oh, she has her crown. Cool. I don't think my Aurora has her crown. Um, anyway, I don't have the Disney Store Aurora. I have a really beautiful Mattel one that my friend Serena sent me, and I have a, like, early Disney Store one that has a very strange outfit, but I wanted this Disney Store one because she reminds me of, like, the 2013. I don't know what year this one is. It's probably a more recent one, um, but she reminds me of the 2013 set, which was my original set that I had, and I never got Aurora <laughs> for some reason. I never got Aurora, Cinderella, Belle. I, I think I deemed those ones as, like, they'll stick around. Like, I'll be able to get them. I'm not worried about it. So I did not get them. My first ones were um, Tiana, Ariel, and Rapunzel, because those were my favorites at the time. Um, anyway. Oh, she has a bit of a rip in her dress. That's why I hate satin. Stop using satin for everything. I hate it. Um, but anyway, the cashier. I just completely went on a tangent. Um, the cashier was like, oh, you got these princesses. We had Elsa. Did you see Elsa? Oh my gosh. Or did she sell already? And I was like, oh, I already have that one. <laughs> I would have got her, though. Um, I thought that was cute that she recognized the doll. Um very fun and she told me like oh yeah you got to keep checking back for the dolls and she gave me a list of other stores which I already knew about but it was really sweet that she was like have you checked this store this store and this store they get dolls sometimes and I was like why are you so sweet why are you so nice thank you <laughs> um and I will come back for your dolls yes I will um pertinent to my last point Belle um she also and I need to look up what year these are you can it's really hard to tell it's usually based on the dresses <gasps> no I didn't notice the giant stain what is it with Belle's dress and having marker stains? That could be something else, but it really looks like marker. No, the way it's running isn't marker. I don't know. Um, we'll have to oxyclean it, but I'm scared that the... Or we'll just try to dish soap first. I'm scared that the glitter will come off. But anyway, um, Belle's dress is almost always hor like horribly wrong. Um, I'm very picky about Belle's dress. This color is gorgeous for Belle's dress. I really like it. It's got that like gold but also the the like pastel yellow. I'm not super on board with the pastel yellow, but I think this specific iteration is really pretty. I don't know which version this is. Also, it has this little button here too. I'm starting to think that these might have gone to like a multi-pack because that would make sense why there were so many. I even think Snow White was there. Um. Oh, she has her shoes. Okay, so these shoes were not used after 2013, I think, on the main classic dolls, and I could be wrong, but all of my 2013 dolls do not have this, so I think this might actually be an earlier one. I'm not sure, that would be interesting, and I'll look it up. Um, but if you guys just happen to recognize them, it's possible I haven't looked it up yet, so let me know. This is what she looks like. And she has the shoes. The actually nice shoes. It made me so angry as a kid when I opened my first ones. And my first one was... My first ones were Tiana, Rapunzel, Ariel. So I got one pair of shoes. And they're these stupid green slipper things. Like... 
is molding the heel like gonna cost an arm and a leg? I don't get it. I don't get it. But Disney classic dolls at that time were ten dollars each, so I guess it's okay. Okay, this doll. Why is your hair so ridiculously soft? What? Um. I think this is, so it is a Mattel Anna, but when the movie came out, there was like this color something Anna and Elsa that my dad bought and like was selling at his store at some point. And I feel like, cause my dad had a toy store. Sorry, you need the context there. And I feel like this was that doll, which is pretty cool. Cause I remember sitting and staring at that doll when I would work at his store and just being like, if I said when I was little, I meant when I was like 13, like I was a teenager, a tween and teen. Anyway, I remember really wanting these dolls. So if this is actually her, that would be cool. Um, I actually, I don't know if this is a popular opinion, but I love, love the Mattel screenings and sculpts for the Anna and Elsa. These specific ones are so cute. And the signature, the Disney signature or whatever that line was called that has the like gorgeous princesses I think they did on and Elsa and they did amazing if not I am implanting a memory that doesn't exist I don't know um but anyway isn't she like really cute also I can't get over her hair why is it so soft why is your hair so soft anyway she's really really cute and I really like this iteration of the dress and um I don't feel like I have a whole lot of Mattel ones. I do have several, but I'm pretty sure they're not complete. She's not complete either, but I don't know. Um, but she was collateral. I got her because I bought Belle. Probably would not have got her singularly. Ah, so this doll is interesting. She was $3. And I don't normally pick up Barbies unless I particularly recognize them or something. Um, or not, not if I only recognize them, but it's like if I'm like, oh, that looks like a collector doll or I recognize them. This doll? I think she's 90s, which I don't normally go for, but something about her just called my name. I thought she was so cute. And it looks like she's Easter themed, actually. She has Kanekalon hair. Yes, I'm excited to fix this up. I love Kanekalon hair. It's so pretty. Um, Look at her. Isn't she just sweet? I just thought she was sweet. So I was like, I think you're coming. I think you're going to come home with me. I think you're adorable. Um... And I don't super collect the 90s ones unless they're the collector ones because I feel like a lot of the collector ones are really nice. Um, and I, I like the 90s. This is like early 90s or maybe it's early 90s, right? The late 90s dolls I'm all over. Um, but I don't know. I think I'm starting to have a soft spot for these ones, which is bad because I'm trying to limit myself to the decades that I was alive with Barbara. But the 90s ones are really cute too. And the 80s ones. The 70s, well, I've always said if I find the 70s ones, specific ones, there's very specific 70s ones that I really want. If I find those, I will buy them in a heartbeat. I really want them. But she's just cute. She's really cute. And I have several 90s Barbies. Um, and the reason I know this is her outfit, or at least partially, is because this hat is, like, pinned to her head. Um, but her hair needs help. She was clearly very loved, and I think she's very cute. Um... <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say, so I'm just gonna move on. All right, so that was all the stuff that I found on Saturday. Today, we went to America's Thrift Store in my town and um, this half price books type store called Second and Charles that I've never heard of and got quite the bounty. So let's dive into it, shall we? This is the uh, Fashion Fever jewelry box for $9. I have been all over eBay recently looking for Fashion Fever dolls. So basically I bought a lot of Fashion Fever dolls that I found on Mercari that was supposed to be six dolls and it was actually three. And I'm heartbroken because I really wanted them. Even the three that I got I really wanted, but I don't think I wanted to pay $110 for three out of box dolls, unless they're my scenes. So I'm going through a whole thing with that. I still have the dolls. I'm Today's a holiday, Saturday, Sunday was a holiday, so I am returning them tomorrow, but I will miss them. They were really beautiful. I did replace one of them already. I got her new inbox for cheaper than I bought her from that. Uh, we're not going to say the S word. That man who misled me on the internet. Anyway, this for $9. This is like, um, they felt sorry for me. This was divine intervention. They were like, I'm so sorry about that fashion fever thing that we did to you. Here's this fashion fever thing. And I said, thank you. This is the Fashion Fever jewelry box. Definitely gonna open it because it's a disaster. Um, but it's in box. It's really nice. It's got this bracelet. I, are there sunglasses pinned to the bracelet? That's hilarious. 
um I will open this in a few days well maybe a week I have I after I got um misled on the internet by that very kind fellow <laughs> I decided or I decided to go hunt for the dolls that it that I was supposed to get and the dolls that I currently have in my possession but I'm returning um I decided to hunt for them and I've been um really hunting for fashion paper stuff so there's gonna be a fashion paper haul coming up and I think this would make more sense to unbox with that but this is like really 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 cute and I like that there's like a little dress form on top and speaking of dress forms I found more dress forms at the same thrift store this was three dollars and um, Lakeshore. Why is this like in a, it's like a kitchen bag or like a vacuum seal bag. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but it says Lakeshore, which is like a, they make like school stuff, right? Like Lakeshore Learning? I don't know. Um, dress form. Cute. And another dress form. Oh, it doesn't have a base, but that's okay. Oh, wait. It's a little longer it looks exactly like this one like even the top missing a piece and then there's like a jewel on this one i don't know interesting um but it's another dress form this one looks like it's probably mattel but it does not say um but i really like dress forms for decorating doll houses and if a doll comes with a second outfit but i don't have the second doll and i really like the second outfit could display it on one of these bad boys and it would be cute anyway had to buy those they were very cheap and then there's more this barbara she intrigued me i do not think this is her outfit but it is competently put together and she has eyelashes um i think i actually don't have to narrate the part i think i was talking the whole time at the thrift store and there was not really music but i could be wrong so you might have already heard me say this but i'm just gonna start picking up the eyelash dolls when i see them I feel like it's just going to be good practice for the future. Definitely not thinking this is a Barbie outfit now because it's very, like, shredded. Uh, might be a bootleg outfit, actually, considering the shoes. These are a very popular bootleg mold. I know they come from a real mold. Um, she's probably a holiday Barbie, but just picked her up. I thought the outfit was cute. She was interesting. And if she is truly a holiday Barbie, because she's on that... She has the painted nails and the... Is this the model muse body? I could be wrong. I have no idea. Um... I, like actually no idea I'm so sorry if I'm wrong like please don't kill me Barbie fans Barbie fans are like mean in the comments like how could you not know this Barbie that you've never seen before if you can't identify a Barbie but like you shouldn't have uh, anyway <laughs> sorry I didn't recognize the hip to be square Barbie when I found her at a flea market and said oh she's pretty I would like to buy her even though I don't know who she is but now I will find out I don't know um I, I'm pretty sure I recognize exactly which um, holiday Barbie this is. But if she isn't a holiday Barbie, please enlighten me. Thank you. Anyway, next. This was $5, which is kind of a lot. But, but, <laughs> this is the last thing I got at the thrift store. Um, I bought this because I've never seen this before. This is just a giant palace pet. Um, I don't remember her name, actually, but this is Rapunzel's cat, um, and she's just huge. She seems to have some staining to her hair, possibly, or maybe this was a toy that you were supposed to color on. She has, like, eyelashes. Like, actual eyelashes. Oh, she's amazing. Um, and she's electronic somehow. I really like palace pets. They're very strange, and I wouldn't call them obscure, but they're one of those things that people would be like, oh my god, that happened, you know? If And people who have never seen it before would be like, excuse me. <laughs> um but they were not as obscure as you would think they were because they had like build-a-bears and they were in like major retailers I don't even think these are confusing they were just like an app right was there a series I don't know but they came out when I was like 12 and I think they're amazing I think they're amazing so anytime I find them at thrift stores I have to get them so Rapunzel's cat and it is painful that I don't know her name I really like her crown like I'm glad she has it it looks like yeah it does come out so it's very fortunate that she has made it almost a decade later with her crown and now you will keep it forever darling your eyelashes are so shredded and I do not know how to fix that um but let's set you down all right the rest of the bag was collateral but I will say that I really wanted these Zuru ponies these are I mean aren't they Zuru they're like sparkle girls ponies or something uh, now I'm doubting it because it says something completely different. But regardless, I think they're really cute. 
they sell these at Walmart. Like, I just, I really like their eyes. I think they're really cute. Um, and I have a lot of My Little Ponies, and they can be, like, the, the strange cousins <laughs> to the ponies, you know? They're just really pretty. Like, they're really sweet, and they're very affordable for, ki like, for um, kids and stuff. Um, this is a really, really messed up for real friend. What, what is the wheel? I, we sold these at Ollie's, I'm pretty sure. Like, I recognize this, possibly. They, I know, did they poop or something? I don't even remember. Why are the legs so, like, oh, are you supposed to be peeing? I don't know. I don't know. Again, collateral. But that's not collateral that I'm keeping. All right, then, the things I got at the used bookstore. Now, let me be clear, I did buy books. Let me show you. We're going to start with the books. I went, I like going to the bookstore and not buying books. Um, but I did. I love books, but it's hard to do. Does anybody else have this or am I strange? So when I was in elementary school, I used to exclusively read nonfiction books. Like I would go to the nonfiction section and pick out like the, like the encyclopedia-ish books or like the ones that are like facts you didn't know about the frog. And we had a huge nonfiction, nonfiction section at my library when I was in elementary school. But anyway, in like second grade, after years of this, the librarian one day was just like, why don't you read fiction books like a normal person? Like, I need you to go pick out a fiction book. And it, like, crushed my spirit. I was so desperate. Like, I was so heartbroken. So after that, I would just pick out a random generic book and not read it because... And I loved reading. I loved reading fiction and nonfiction. But, um, I don't know. The librarian just broke my soul that day. I was like, am I doing something wrong? Um, so from then on, I would just buy a book... Or not buy. I would, like, pick out a book that I wasn't actually interested in reading but it was one that everybody else had um and then I would just sometimes I would put a science book with it sometimes I would just be sad um and my mom started bringing me to the public library where I could buy or I keep saying buy where I could pick out like a huge stack of the encyclopedia style books of like about Egypt and stuff and be like <laughs> I don't know but anyway I have developed a horrific anxiety about going to bookstores libraries anything like that um because of that I mean I think it's because of that I don't know um it's something that I can actually attribute sometimes I have weird things that I don't know why I'm like this but that one specifically I remember that day so vividly because it hurts so bad <laughs> um but anyway that being said I can I can um I can rise above it for the Winx books and the witch books so <laughs> anyway so I don't have this one this is magic in the air I have the Roxy one from this set and I think that's it actually they actually had the Roxy one I think I filmed a clip um they had that one Oh, it's not in here. Um, oh, I might have Bloom's Discovery. I don't remember. But I'm really interested in getting all of these. But these have disappeared off the face of the earth. And this one's actually in great shape. I have the one with Roxy on the cover because it had Roxy on the cover. That's why I bought it. I saw it on eBay and I was like, I need this. <laughs> but I would love to have this full set. They're basically just the, the comics, which I would die to have more of the magazines with the comics in them because the comics are amazing. They're not canon at all, unfortunately, because they have some really interesting concepts in them. Um, but I love them. And these are just... Um, weird collections of the comics like weird ones like I have the big omnibus set that I'm pretty sure is just these books combined which I love that I love that set I'm so glad I have it I'm so grateful um but the the order of them is weird and the ones that they picked are weird like I don't know um but I love it and I love season four so I love that Nickelodeon era brings season four to the table. And then this is a witch graphic novel. I saw these so many times at Half Price Books when I was in Austin and I never would buy them for some reason. I, I, I do have a reason. So, witch is exactly my style. Like, I will love this. I know I will. And I've, I've mentioned this before on my channel. Sometimes I stop myself from getting into something because I know it will cause a problem for me. I am fully aware of the witch dolls. They're really expensive. They are really hard to get, especially in America. So I'm holding off so that I don't have to go through the str- Because I will find them. N I will possibly pay a really expensive price for them depending on what I deem appropriate. And it will become a problem. That's why I have not watched Witch. That is why. Or Reddit. But the authors have- um, I think it's both of the authors or maybe just one. Um, it's Alessandra B Barbucci and um, Barbara Canepa. But I don't know- I said both of their names really, really wrong, by the way. Where's the author names? I guess they didn't put it. I don't know. My point is, those authors... Oh, how funny. This is from a middle school library. Mine now. Um, the authors have another series called Sky Doll, which I am in love with. So, um, it's really, really hard to resist reading and watching.
watching which but anyway i had to pick this up because i know i will eventually and if i find if i find it at a thrift store then why not and it haunts me that i found cornelia once at a thrift store she did have a haircut and the seller was overcharging but it was still a good deal it was the disney store one and i should have bought her because i could have rerouted her um but oh god the art is so good why didn't they credit the artist i guess it's disney but that's sad that they didn't credit the artists because I love them. I'm thinking it's only um, Barbucci who did Witch and then um, Kanepa is just the colorist for Sky Doll. Maybe she worked on Witch too. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Again, not into Witch, but I want to be. But I also don't want to be. All right, the next things. I had a sneaking suspicion that these would be there because bookstores now want to be like a lot of things that bookstores are not so like barnes and noble you know if they just have like a giant anime section with like video game figures and anime figures they got like figmas and figure arts and stuff yeah so i when i go to a used bookstore often i find this kind of stuff so it's worth checking them if you have like something like this in your area for some reason people decide to does this even count as selling when they give you like a dollar per item if that like they'll give you like 20 cents per book can you call it selling it to the store or would you call it donating because it's not even donating i don't think you get a tax write-off for it i don't know but anyway for some reason people are like i'm gonna bring my 90s and 2000s dolls in box which is great for me i don't know um so this is sun colors pocahontas who was y'all are going to die at the prices it's 12.95 and they put the name too you'd think they would have googled it i'm glad that they didn't but like um, Sun Colors Nakoma has been long on my wish list. I really am interested in getting this doll. I think she, I think this doll is gorgeous. I think the Mattel early Disney dolls are su I shouldn't say early, like Renaissance Disney dolls are superb. They're really, really nice and um interesting. I wonder how the sun color things work. Do you have to put them in the sun? Oh, I'm noticing that her um dress is peeling a little bit. Um, but anyway, this one's interesting because this didn't come with it, right? Like this this person who used to own this like put this sticker here right which is kind of cute isn't this cute she's still sewn to her box completely so this this is what i'm talking about with new inbox dolls what's the point of leaving a doll in box when you have to be super careful to not hurt the box as you can see this box is pretty destroyed i'm gonna open it but also the doll is actively destroying itself in the box so that's why i'm not super on board with keeping dolls in box i am sometimes i'm i'm totally fine with it but i don't know i don't like when um like you kept it in box all these years this doll is from the 90s you know like kept it in the box tried to keep it perfect for all this time and of course things are gonna happen but this is still decently displayable you know if you were to pop out some of the issues also for some reason there's like command um sticky on the back where they just like did they stick it directly to the wall with commands command stickers it's not even command hooks i don't know it's interesting but anyway um, after all that effort, the doll destroyed herself in her perfect box. I don't know. Food for thought. Anyway. Next. I don't know which one to show first. Oh, interesting. These must be from the same home. I did not notice that she also has command strips on here. Forgot they're called command strips. <laughs> um, Odette. I was just talking about how I wanted an Odette to unbox. I had Odette as a kid. I absolutely adored this doll as a kid. I've been wanting to get another one, but for some reason she's expensive now. And I have several that I've bought at thrift stores and I have several of her dress too, but they never have the sleeves or the wings or the crown, which are important pieces to me. Oh my gosh, her shoe is loose in there. How funny. Um, this box is shredded. Pretty bad. Also, there's command strips on it. Don't ask. I don't know. Um, I had this unicorn. I had Lila. Um, oh, the price. Y'all are going to die. This was $12.95. What? Thanks for not googling it, store. Please don't google it in the future. Please don't google it. Don't. I went to Half Price Books once and they had the 17 inch singing Ariel and I was like, ooh, I want that. And she was $70. So like they googled it. But it was even more than the eBay price at the time. But I did get Ep Epic Winter Ashlyn for 20 bucks there, like after she was in stores. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, tangent over. I am so excited to unbox this doll. So um, maybe she'll get her own video, but I also actually have this doll, one of the muses from Darby and the Diamond Castle. And I do not remember if they have names. I'm not actually sure if they have names, um, but I got her too, like last week. Um, yeah, 
so maybe I can unbox them together because they're both um, Barbie movies from a similar time period. I don't know. But I loved Barbie, Barbie as Swan Lake as a kid, so now I'm finally going to have an Odette to display. I have her in box, but again, like, I prefer having dolls out of box and playing with them. But because I bought some of these dolls, like, new, beautiful, pristine in their boxes, I don't want to unbox them. I, I want to let them stay in box. And I do like dolls in box, let's be clear. Okay. Anyway, the last one is... Barbie as Marzipan. This doll's box isn't as screwed up, but as you can see, it's popped in pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna see if I want her in box or out of box, but I have the Sugar Plum Princess from the same line, and I'm pretty sure I have the Snowflake and the Flower Fairy also from the same line, but it's possible those are from a later line. Um, yeah, it's weird how quickly I'm filling out this Nutcracker set. So these are the before the movie. This was like the collector edition set. So I'm displaying them with the movie characters because I don't know, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, here is Marzipan. I can't decide if I want to unbox her. A lot of the 90s, this is like a late 90s, right? But yeah, 98. A lot of, and she was $20, so she was a little bit more expensive, which is kind of weird, because I feel like, um, Odette's certainly worth more. Sun, Sun Colors Pocahontas in box, I'm not sure, actually. I don't know if there's a lot of Pocahontas-specific collectors, so, I don't know. A lot of the older Mattel Disney dolls that are really nice, people do not collect at all. It's weird. Like, Jane from Tarzan, Kida, and Megara generally sell for more. Kida especially, oh my god. I'm so glad I found her at the store. I had Kita and Milo as a kid and I loved them, but unfortunately they went with the rest of my dolls at a garage sale. Most of the rest of my dolls. I still have my Fairytopia dolls and my Bratz um, from when I was a kid and a couple other random dolls. But anyway, th that aside. Um, oh, anyway, I feel like mostly like nobody really cares about them, which is a shame because I think they're phenomenal dolls. It's weird. Um, a Thousand Splendid Dolls cares about them enough for all of us. Keep fighting the good fight. Also, um, Esmeralda. Esmeralda, I feel like, does not sell for any money. Um, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Like, thank God. But it's weird that people don't, like, really appreciate them. Um, anyway, I was talking about the box and I got sidetracked. So, we're gonna get back to it. Oh, I was talking about the price. I saw the price. Um, these 90s dolls boxes are just not very nice. Like, they're really hard to keep good. Like, they're so... Like, even if you treat it really well, like, clearly this doll was treated well, probably stayed on a shelf, maybe was in a box once when they moved or something and got crushed, um, and now it's, like, permanently ruined. Because the, the cardboard they use on these is so, like, it's, like, thin, and the window they use is so thin. This is the window that they use on, like, prototype stuff, like, the, the acetate that's not as good. I don't know. It's weird because, um, these dolls are specifically meant to be keepsakes that you keep in box these ones are the like playline collectible series that are meant for kids to collect you know um so they are probably more often going to be unboxed but still like and even the barbie movie dolls the early ones these boxes i don't know if they thought people were gonna leave these in box honestly but these boxes are not very hardy at all like and they they'll have all this cardboard that easily gets like peeled and screwed up i don't know it's weird let me know if you have any thoughts about that. Um, Alright, the last doll is actually one that's going... The rest of that haul will be featured in a separate video, but this one makes more sense for a thrifting video. So this is the... Oh God, why don't I remember her name right now? The Ultimate Surprise Kitty Doll, Piper Prim. My name is Piper Prim. Um, if you guys are experts in my old videos, which I imagine you are not, and that's totally fine, but I am because I filmed them. Often I'm not though. Often I'll say something and y'all are like, no, you actually saw that doll in this video. And I was like, I don't remember that, but okay. <laughs> but anyway, when I first visited Alabama, or no, sorry, when I second, the second time I visited Alabama was to house hunt with my mom and we went to Dirt Cheap. We were just kind of scoping out stores in the area because it was exciting. Like, ooh, I'm going to move here. Let's, let's kind of peek at everything. I went to Dirt Cheap and I saw this doll, but she had the price tag on her. She didn't actually have the price tag this time. She had a price tag on her and she was, you know, the ultimate surprise set was the price tag. And then everything was 50% off. So she was really expensive still, especially just for the doll in terrible condition. But I remembered her and when I got back, she was gone. And then I saw her again and then she was gone again. And then Brett was like, hey, there's a not a not doll over here. And it was her. And she didn't have a price tag this time. But I figured that if she did have the price tag, she would be like 95% off. Just like the Rainbow High doll house that I got for $10. Check out that video if you didn't. It was cool. Um, but she didn't have her price tag. And when something doesn't have a price tag at Dirt Cheap, and it's clear that you didn't just rip it off, they will just price it. 
and that's happened once before with me as well which was pretty cool um i got a barbie color reveal that did not have her tube or her hat for three dollars and i've also paid three dollars for this doll and the cashier was so sweet she was she was asking me about the dolls and i need to start being more like when i notice a cashier because sometimes like cashiers that are around my age they'll they'll be like i bought a cheer poppy and she was the cashier was like this like stopped speaking to me stopped doing her job to like to look at the doll it was really cute <laughs> so i should be like are you interested can i tell you more i don't know that would be funny um because maybe maybe there's a doll collector in there but anyway um she was like are you gonna fix her like what's going on and i was like yeah i'm so excited to fix her hair and she was like how do you do that and i like talked about it it was fun um, so this, this beautiful angel is going to find a new life. I'm shocked a kid didn't, I mean, kids must have been picking her up at the store because she was not this bad last time I saw her, but I'm shocked a kid didn't find her and pity her and pick her up, but I guess their parents would probably be like, uh-uh, put that back. <laughs> um, yeah, she's really cute. She's really cute. So I picked her up and I mentioned this, I think, in the P.O. Box video because I was actually sent her by Katie. I, I was like, I can't say her name, but actually I can. I can say her name. I was actually sent this doll by Katie and um, the whole set like complete. So now I have a second one to wear the outfit just like I do with Rebel. Rebel Dare is not her, that's the Doberman. Alex Hart is the bunny one. Um, so now I have two of both of those dolls just by sheer thrifting luck, which I'm really excited about. And now that concludes this ex Canadensis installment in the series that I've been doing of forcing myself to upload every single day. Anyway, <laughs> they, oh, she was right here this whole time. Hello, my darling. <laughs> look at them. Soon, she, or sorry, yeah, she will look like this. I'm so glad you came home, darling, because I saw you months ago and I wanted you. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you've been thrifting recently, let me know what you found. And I just realized that this is an obnoxious Barbie haul again. What can I say? What can I say? I held back on Barbie for a long time because I did not have the space for them, and now I do, and um, I'm getting blessed with Barbies lately. Barbies are just falling into my lap. They're falling out of the sky onto me, and I'm like, okay, I'll take you home. Why not? <laughs> anyway, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye! We're in the den now because I forgot to show you something, and I feel like it's important to mention. Here's my daughter and my man. Anyway, I also found this giant 2014... Um, Godzilla and you saw him in the thrift clip and I didn't want it to seem like I did not buy him because yeah I did I love Godzilla um and I love my daughter hi princess and I love my Brent <laughs> just cold <laughs> uh anyway our den is a disaster because we're still like moving in sorry we're main tail pile